You know him from Big Brother 24, but this time around, he brought his competitive energy to the Challenge USA, and now he is unfortunately the latest eliminated contestant from the show. So say hello to Monty Taylor. Monty, good to see you. How are you feeling after last night's episode? Hey, what's happening, Blake? Appreciate you having me on. Um, how am I feeling? Wow. I, I think it's kind of a reminder of how traumatizing that, that, that challenge was. I mean, it was three hours. It felt like it was four. Um, it was such a tough experience having to go against my closest ally in the house. But yeah. um, at the same time, like I'm, I'm happy for him going back into the house. And it was a beautiful experience, but a crazy one at the same time, man. Yeah, absolutely. Now, before we get into your challenge experience, I've got a question. I want to go back in time a little bit. So it's been almost a year since your season of Big Brother ended. So what has life been like for you since you walked out of the Big Brother house? Oh my God, Blake, it's been just a, a whirlwind. I feel like everything's just been flipped upside down, you know? <laughs> like, I think before Big Brother, I quit my job to start my fitness coaching business, and I thought that that was just going to be my life from here on out. Um, but having met so many people within the reality TV space and making new friends and then filming for the challenge and going through that experience, I feel like now, like, I'm a little bit more of like a daredevil with life. Okay. So I'm, I'm out in Los Angeles now. I, I used to live in Philadelphia. So that's a huge change. But it's been a lot of traveling um, to go to different events and make appearances places. But it's been really fun just having the relationships that I've built with, uh, with the folks in the BB family and, and just in the reality family as a whole. Yeah, it sounds like there's been a lot of good, positive life changes. Now, going on the challenge is no easy feat. So how did you personally prepare for the challenge before you flew out to Croatia? Man, I think uh, for me, I've always worked out. Like fitness is just a passion of mine. So it, that wasn't a question of if I was going to work out. It was just a matter of how I was going to structure my workout. So I used to do a lot of like traditional strength training and I still like held that up, but I started doing a lot more runs. I started swimming in my local LA fitness pool, you know, like just trying to get my stroke right and everything. And um, it, it was just a matter of like training differently. Mm -hmm. And then even on the mental side, like I started playing a lot more puzzle games and whatnot on my phone because dude, I don't do that on my regular <laughs> time. So I was like, I got to prepare for this. I got to gear up for this because Mentally, I'm not sure if I'll be there if I don't. Yeah, absolutely. You have to be ready for it all. Now, coming into the challenge, did you feel like you had anything to prove to maybe the viewers, your fellow competitors, or even yourself? Because you had a really good run on Big Brother, but maybe there's some unfinished business. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think whenever you come second in anything, as a competitor, naturally, I want to I want to come first. You know, I want to show that I'm a winner and that I can compete. Um, and I thought that the challenge would be the perfect opportunity to do that, you know, because unlike Big Brother, the challenge you have an opportunity to fight your way back, regardless of what happens socially. So I thought that that would be a nice challenge, no pun intended for myself. Yeah. Um, and I thought that, you know, just making a name for myself in a different show and in a different way uh, was really the thing that I wanted to prove. And I also wanted to show that like my game translates mm -hmm. to different you know, platforms as well, too. So it, it wasn't like I was just one dimensional with Big Brother. Like, no, there's multi facets of me and, and I wanted to show that. Yeah, absolutely. You can hold your own in uh, multiple different kinds of arenas. So you and Tyler Crispin both formed or both of you, sorry, were Big Brother runner ups in your previous seasons and you formed a close alliance on this season of the challenge. So walk me through what it was like having to go against him in the elimination last night. Oh, man, it was so tough. Uh, and, you know, the moments leading up to it, you, you kind of get a feeling that I'm going to get some balls thrown my way into the hopper, uh, especially from the, the survivor group, just because, you know, the, 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 the dynamic in the house, it kind of turned into that. Right. But um, I will say that mentally, like I tried to prepare as much as I possibly could. But once I saw my name get picked out, like I had had so many close calls and so did Tyler. Mm -hmm. So we always just felt like the hopper was on our side and for it to kind of get us this one time, it, it, it sucked. But I'll say this, I mean, going up against Tyler was probably the best thing to do in the experience because we were literally chirping at each other and just telling each other like, yo, keep going, brother. Like it was three long hours during that. I mean, I still have, marks and so does tyler from that, that harness gripping our waist so hard so like it, it was just something to to really experience but it, it was cool to kind of have each other 
um, encouraging one another during the actual elimination, but one of the most emotionally draining things that you could possibly do just because it requires so much patience and so much persistence. And I'm, I'm glad somebody won eventually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I can totally see that. I mean, from the viewer perspective, it was very exciting to watch. But when I saw it getting close to that three-hour timer, I was like, nope, I'm out. So, Monty, <laughs> you've, you've had two super steady runs now on reality competition shows. So would you say there's more ahead for you in the future? Oh, yeah. Like, if I have an opportunity, um, especially just knowing what I know now, when, when you go into the challenge as a rookie, it is such a different experience than I imagine now if I were to go back um, with a little bit more experience. Like before a lot of these challenges, you I would look at the challenge vets like a Tory, like a Wes, like a Bananas, and just see how they would think about the challenges based off of their experience. Mm. I'm like, how, how are these guys like coming up with this sort of strategy, right? And it's just because they have the experience to back it up. So me now, like having this daredevil sort of mentality, wanting to skydive now, like doing all this sort of stuff I've never wanted to do before. I think it's just prepared me mentally to compete better, but also socially, I've built a lot more relationships since then. And I don't think I'd be coming in on such an island compared to this past season of the challenge yeah. where it was, it was a small group of folks that I felt like I could work with from the jump, you know, and that yeah. we have relationships with. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Monsi, congrats on a very successful rookie season on the Challenge USA. We hope to see you again in the future on our screens and best of luck to whatever's next for you. All right. Appreciate it, Blake. Thanks for the time. Thank you.